going on, world? I want to talk to y'all about a new movie that is out right now. I just watched it. It's called Wonder Woman 1984. All right, here's the story. The film is two hours and a half long. And, you know, they got the new girl in there uh, in the movie. She's pretty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You already know who she is. She's doing her thing. I, I think she's doing her thing. and uh, But, you know, we grew up in 1984. They had the other lady in there, Linda Carter. And she was doing her thing, the old Wonder Woman doing the spins and blocking bullets and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, like, it's ironic that it was a dude in my hood who he was like this. I guess he was a gay person. He was older than me. But all the dudes used to fuck with him all the time. No matter when he came outside, they'd just be on him, beating the shit out of him, slapping him around. He had glass. He never would fight back. And they would be calling him Wonder Woman all the time. I, I, they used to fucking make me laugh. I was a kid. I used to be like, damn, why you want to fight them back? He kind of was a little bulky guy, but he would not fight them dudes back growing up. And I'm like, he would have knocked two or three of them out. They like skinny, frail dudes who used to just play basketball all the time. But they bullied the shit out of this guy. So make a long story short, I saw him as a grown man too, and he was weirdoed out. He was like one of them dudes sitting in front of the bus all really kind of weirded out. I was like, damn, I want to let that bully and shit do that to that guy. But make a long story short, the movie is two and a half hours long. You know, the beginning was cool. They keep you going from the history of her when she first started. You know what I mean? Back in her uh, all-women uh, country that she's from. Uh, and then they go into the fact that it, of today, well, which is the 1984, where she comes around and she go into her little storyline. I thought that was dope. It was cool. The intro was dope. The movie started pretty good. But where they lost me at is in the middle, just like a lot of movies. In the middle, it got cold, boring. You know, by the time she caught up with her boyfriend and all this shit she was interested in, I was bored as fuck, and it was hard trying to get back into it. You know, but mostly, the story that they pushed was a good story, because I literally just watched another story like this from 1972. This was Tales from the Crypt. One of them shows I watched as a kid. I was a shorty when I watched Tales from the Crypt called The Day of Judgment. It scared the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? So I had rewatched that on YouTube a couple of weeks ago. And it, one of the stories in there was the story where the lady made three wishes. And every three wish that she made made her life even worse in this movie from Tales from the Crypt. And that's what they pretty much did in this Wonder Woman movie. They had the whole make a wish deal. It wasn't three wishes, but it was just make a wish. And they took that and just ran it all the way to the ground. And I, that was cool. How they had the storyline, that, that was amazing. How they did this shit with the wishes. And then they swung it around and had this moral about it, about don't wish yourself into a corner, don't don't be wanting things that's outside of your realm. That motherfucker was a cold ass story. And so when you get down to past the middle of it and the nemesis, his whole situation is galvanizing and becoming exactly how he wanted to be, it was really cool. You know, he was a twerk to me. I didn't really like him as a uh as a villain. I'd never seen a guy before. Maybe he'd been around before without he was like new to my, my face. And I just wasn't really feeling him too tough. Didn't seem too interesting. But his character was dope because he had a he had a change as well. So he started off broke, no money. And they they did the whole idea of him having an interracial kid, no wife. He taking care of this kid in this broke down office that nobody work in. It's dusty and shitty. But his whole idea was to take this this thing from the past, this thing that they was keeping, this artifact, and make his wish. But his wish was different. His wish was, I want to become the artifact so people make a wish to me. And that, obviously, was a different twist on the old monkey's paw idea. So he was the person who you made a wish to, so he went around getting people to make wishes to him. Obviously, he took something from them when they did this wish. So his life was in a turmoil, and their life was in a turmoil, and eventually it turned into like this world war and it was crazy. You know, all these movies gotta have a whole Russia's pushing a bomb, Russia's shooting a missile. I don't give a fuck what it is. It could be a goddamn cartoon and Russia is gonna fucking shoot a damn missile. So that's what it is at this point. So uh, it was a good movie. Cal Gadad, I think that's the lady name. She was, she did all right. She did, she, you know, this is funny though because most of these superhero movies, the superhero was powerful. She was getting her ass kicked in there. She was getting her ass kicked around in this movie. You know, Christine Wiig, from uh, Saturday Night Live, she's a sexy ass lady. I knew this in other movies. I've seen this about that skinny ass lady in other movies, but for them to kind of show off her little body and shit, which is completely skinny as shit, but you know, gave her a little flavor. She did a pretty good job in this movie because she, you know, what they did, 
And I think I noticed that everybody had a turn. Every every character had a turning point in the movie, except those two was the nemesis. And then obviously even even the main suit Wonder Woman, she had her own wish. She wished for something. And it came back as her old boyfriend and all that shit, you know, it was really deep because she was so sad when he left. They, this is for females. This is like a female superhero movie. And so a lot of ladies, a lot of young girls are going to like this. They're going to galvanize to the story and be, be behind this idea of her uh, being a superhero. They did a good job in it. They really had dope-ass costumes. All the cinematography was fly as hell. Sound design was dope. The music was okay. It didn't really stand out to me. But uh, I did like the shooting, the graphic, uh, the special effects was fly. You know, the movie was good. You're going to like it. So if you haven't seen it, go check out Wonder Woman 1984. They even had a little small cameo from Linda Carter from 1984 when I was a kid. If you watch the credits, they give you that little spirits at the end, totally after the credits have ran for a while, and then they pop up, come back on to the movie, and you'll see Linda Carter from my era, and, and she's straight plastic surgery out, because if I'm in my 40s, that lady gotta be 70 or 80, and she don't even look like it. She got complete, perfect skin. You know, they could've did the graphic design on her face, too. But, you know, it was a good movie. I liked it. Um, Great storyline, you know what I'm saying? The ending was obviously impactful because it's going to be one of them uh, one of them special effect movies and shit, man. You're going to like this, man. Go see it. It's very good. You, I, you know, sometimes it get boring for me. Two and a half hours is a long time. But I guess they're building up the story. They're adding a lot of little stuff into it. you got the little car chases that got to yeah, gotta happen in all these movies, too. So, so go check it out if you're interested in that, man. Definitely like and subscribe on my page. I appreciate y'all looking and watching. It's your boy, Yusuf Hood, hoodfilms.com. Go check us out at Walmart. We got products on Walmart. Can you imagine that? Somebody from the hood got some products on walmart.com. Go to walmart.com. Go in the search. You put Hood Films up there, and you're going to see my products. You can grab one. Get one right now. It's important to me that everybody in the world know Hood Films. You got to know who I am. You got to know what we're about. And go to hoodfilms.com. You can also watch the movie. It's right on the front page. You just scan down a little bit. You can rent the movie right now. It's called Killer Rapper. It's a dope story. It lets you know what the movie is all about. Right there on the website. It's an hour long. Yo, holla at us, man. We streaming. We hooking it up. We got merchandise. We doing the whole thing. All right? We independent, self-owned, self-made. And I appreciate y'all watching, man. Holla at you in a minute.